Thinking back on your childhood, did you ever have a favorite television show or cartoon that you always watched? And when it was on television, your eyes were completely glued to the television screen. Well, in my childhood, my favorite television show was Scooby-Doo. And today, I will inform you about the main facts of Scooby-Doo. I will tell you about the main characters as well as their personalities, traits, and appearances, the main summary and plot of the television show, and the history of the television show. And I've been watching Scooby-Doo ever since I was four years old, so this makes me very informative on this television show. And in this show, the main characters are four teenagers and a great Dane companion, and they are called Mr. Incorporated. The first one is Freddie Jones, which is right here. And he is known as the leader of the pack, and he is also known for his orange ascot. And the next one is Daphne Blake, right here. And she is known for her beauty, her red hair, and her lavender clothes and her heels. Velma Dinkley, right here. She is known for her intelligence, and she is very smart, and she's always dressed in orange. The next one is Norval, which you call him Shaggy. And he is known as the scared one, and he's more cowardly, and he's, no he's best friends with Scooby. And he also is known for a lot of eating. And the last one, which is the Great Dane, his name is Scooby-Doo. And he is best friends with Shaggy. And he is also known for being a coward. And he's also known for eating lots of food. And this Mystery Incorporated, they are known for solving mysteries that involve these supernatural creatures. But mostly they are just humans in costumes. And an example of these, of these villains that are in the shows as seen from Kids World, the source. The examples are Black Knight, the Creeper, the Tar Monster, and the Werewolf. And the plot of this show involves Mystery Incorporated. They usually bump into a ghost or a supernatural being that's usually terrorizing people. And the teens offer to help by looking for clues. And they also split up to where it is Fred, Velma, and Daphne in one group, and it is Scooby and Shaggy in another group. And usually they run into the monster, which Shaggy and Scooby are usually the ones that run into the monster. And they run away and they get away from the monster. And then once they go around looking for clues, they analyze these clues and they realize that it's not a supernatural being. It's just a human in a mask or a costume. And so what they do is they try to capture this, this bad guy by setting up a trap. And usually, once they catch the monster, it ends up with the bad guy saying, I wouldn't have got away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. In this show, it first came out on September 13th, 1969. And this is sourced by the Warner Brothers. And I, like I said, it was first came out in 1969. And it was called Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? That was what the series was called. And it was created by the Hanna-Barbera Productions, and the first season had 17 episodes produced. The writers were Joe Ruby and Ken Spears, and the first episode was What a Night for a Night, and it features the Dark Knight, which is one of the villains I mentioned earlier. And the TV executive was Fred Silverman. And according to Wiki HB. The original voices for these char the main characters, Don Messick was the voice of Scooby-Doo, Casey Kasem was the voice for Shaggy, Frank Welker was the voice for Fred, Sefi and Anna Christopherson was the voice of Daphne, and Nicole Yaffe was the voice of Velma. And according to Mor C. Morgan, The Evolution of Scooby-Doo, there was a huge evolution of Scooby-Doo shows that started in 1969. And the first one was the one that started in 1969, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? The next series was in 1972, and it was the new Scooby-Doo movies. The next one was 1979, and it was Scooby-Doo with Scrappy-Doo. And Scrappy-Doo was Scooby-Doo's little nephew. The next one was in 1984, and it was the new Scooby-Doo Mysteries, and it featured Shaggy, Scooby, and Daphne. The next one was in 1985, and it was the 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo, which featured Shaggy, Scooby, Vincent Van Gogh, and Daphne, and Scrappy-Doo as well. And the last one, which was present, is just what it's presently 
known today. It is Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, and as I said, that was in 2010, and it is still presently running to this day. And in conclusion, the cartoon and television show of Scooby-Doo has been popular ever since 1969, and has evolved tremendously over the years, and is still being made as of 2010. And in this speech, I have told you the main summary and plot of the show, the main characters of this show, as well as their appearance and traits, and the history of this television show ever since September 13th, 1969. And I hope that you now know more about my favorite cartoon show, Scooby-Doo, and I hope you learn more about your favorite television childhood show as well.